Hello everyone, welcome to episode 13 of my Skyrim Let's Play. I'm Yodi, this is Dikos Kadek, and we are on the road to Iverstad. It is 8 in the morning, I think, 8.43, 27th of last seed. And Dikos has spent a nice night here by the, uh, the river. Nothing to, let's just destroy this campfire. We are good to go. I already had him have his breakfast. Had some tea. Mmm, delicious tea. And uh, even in the shadow of the necromancer castle over there, nobody came over to bother him. Everything was fine. Whoa, a little dizzying thing happened there. So we're going to head out and keep heading towards Iverstead. We have a quest. We are going to learn out more. Learn out. We're going to learn more about this whole Dragonborn thing that Dikos just does not quite... He can't get his brain around. So we are on the road to Iverstad, and then we will walk the 7,000 steps up the throat of the world. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yep, we're still going the right way. Pretty nice morning, can't complain. No real issues on the road from white. Whoa, God, yeah. He just. That <laughs> literally came out of nowhere. Quick to the walking stick. I just need to carry that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so tickled right now. Um, all right, here we go. All right, quick, quick. Assume, get the walking stick out, you dork. Come on. Jeez. Holy cow. And he levels up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Goes through a dragger lord and a dragon, but uh, he levels up on a wolf. He's going to go ahead and take that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and advance the time clock one full hour because he has to skin the thing. Ta-da. And we are done. I like to do that just because it adds a little bit of immersion. If you watch my series, you know that I do that quite a bit. Um, makes the day go a little bit faster. Makes me think a little bit before I just go skinning animals. All right, I'm just going to keep the walking stick handy because it would appear... Stuff will jump out of you. Jump out of you? Uh, no, this is not aliens. We'll jump out at you for no apparent reason. It is Skyrim, so I should have really figured that out. I'm going to put it away. We'll just have it ready. Oh, It's a goat. Goat we are not going to mess with. This looks like a interesting trail. Where does it say it goes? Or does it? It doesn't. Ooh. That assuredly leads to adventure. We're not going that way. We're going to Iverstead. Run with me, goat. Run with me. Yes. All right. So I've been thinking in between episodes. What was that? Sorry, there was a weird noise outside. Sounded like tires squealing. All right, we are back. Uh, I had to take a quick break to peek out my window and make sure everything was good outside my home. And it is. So let's, uh, let's real quick, let's go ahead and level up. Almost forgot to do that. And we are going to put this in, let's put this in stamina. I think that's fair. And, jeez, what are we going to do? Um, the one-handed seems to be working pretty well. Um, could do sneak, could do light armor. Let's look at one-handed, though, real quick. What do we got? Fighting stance. Hmm, bone breaker. What's bone breaker? Is this the mace? Oh, I gotta have 30, so let's go back. Could put another dot into that. Let's back up, though. Uh, light archery. That might be one we wanna do. 
Um, Eagle Eye, what do I need? I need 30. Yeah, critical Shot, I'll probably need 30 as well. Almost there. But I think we are going to... Hmm. Yeah, we did, we did kill a dragon. So I think it only makes sense to put a slot into there. There we go. Works for me. And let's move on. Onward to Iverstead. Oh, we're going to go up here. Okay, onward. What's this? And let's just try that new park out on this skeever right here. Take this and hold on to what? it. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? I. <laughs> what happened? You. This, look, you shouldn't run up on... I'm not going to. You shouldn't run up on people. <laughs> look, dude, just... It's a, look, let me put this away. Are we good? Are we good? Look. Yeah, um, I'm really sorry about that. I, you, you startled me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let you go on your way. Um, maybe, maybe you've learned your lesson then. Don't sneak up on people on, on abandoned lonely paths. <laughs> poor, poor guy. <laughs> I'm surprised he's still alive. Is he still running? I guess so. He's over there somewhere. Uh, he gave me something. What did he give me? All right, so this is all very crazy. Let's see. What did he give me? Gave me an axe or something? I saw it flash briefly <laughs> before I punched an arrow into his rib cage. Was it this? Oh, no. It was the axe of burning. Um, well, thank you. Um, if I remember correctly, usually someone is right behind you. Wanting to know where you went, but I don't see that person now. Uh, but Dikos knows nothing about that. Well, what? What? Um. Um. Okay, this is one of the weirdest crossroads we've ever been at. Uh, Dikos is gonna just kind of pretend this never. I see someone run past us now. Um, look, buddy, uh, this, you really, you need to learn from your friend and be very happy that I did not have my bow out. Yes, he went that way. Great. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him, though. Ah, uh, well, you should have told me that before. I would have handed you the axe. I'm going to let you two work this out. He's he's wounded. Um good luck. Wow. Are they they are really just gonna fight it out right here, right? Is that what's just happening? Oh look, there they go. Cue Yakety Sax music. Look, maybe um you really need to run faster and in one one direct one direction just keep running oh he has a bow all right we're walking away we're walking away from this disaster <laughs> Oh, uh, we're just... Okay. Here we go. Back. Let's deal with it. Hi, how are you? Get out of the way. There we go. Wow. Swinging a hit. All right. <laughs> Skyrim, you never cease to amuse me. You never fail me. Oh, man, that was funny. Okay, so, uh,
Dikos took care of that situation pretty handedly. And whoa, look at this. Speaking of situation. Come on. Come on. No, get. Come on. Here we go. Where are you? Oh, that was a good shot, too. Ugh. That was a mess. Well, um, not going to be able to really... Uh, I'm not going to skin these, so... See if maybe they have any... Oddly enough, let's see what else they have on them. Wolf pelt. It'll take three hours to skin all those. And, you know, because... Wolves carry gems in them. All right, we're taking the garnet. We're leaving the pelt. I'll add. Let's see what he has. Anything? No. Um, I don't think it'd be a full hour. So, fine. We'll skin this pelt. I'll tack on an hour. There we go. All right. Wait one hour. Yeah, yeah. Done. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving onward to Iverstead, where I'm sure it'll just get more amusing. Maybe things will calm down. Maybe they won't. It is Skyrim after all. You never know what's going to happen next. What? Okay. This fox is running with me. That's nice. Dikos runs with goats. How is he faster than a goat? I mean, that's a fast lizard man to be able to beat a goat. Have you seen a goat run? Goats are fast, man. Oh, snap leg cave. Hmm, I wonder what happens in there. Yeah, let's just move on past that. Come, my goat brothers. Onward and upward. Or it should be onward, my goat brothers. Onward and upward. Or, yeah, something like that. I think we're getting close. Yep, definitely close. Turned over cart. Sign of a civil... Oh, see? Sign of a horrible, horrible thing. Oh. You are still alive. Hello. Are they gone? Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? Hmm, perhaps. What can I do to help you, sir? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. Do you need me to carry you, or...? You seem to be fine. I don't particularly feel comfortable about this. It's just across the bridge and up that hill. I see. You know... Can I talk to you for a moment? Need something? Yes. Could you please give me some more information? Need something? Um... You go on ahead. I smell trouble. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Dikos wasn't born yesterday. Fairly suspicious of people running up to him on the woods or preparing... Pre Alright, so this is one of the weirdest roads I've ever been on. Um, what's going on over there? Okay. Hello? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Ah, uh, you. I'll just... I'm going to go. That's right. Yeah, I'm just... I'm not in the mood to deal with the likes of you. Are we even close? I feel like I'm completely off track. No, we're... Oh, jeez. Okay. 
We're definitely going the long way. Alrighty. That's a camp. Oh. Well, let's check and see what time it is. 3 o'clock p.m. That's a, oh. Alright. Over there. Looks like it's a nice camp. Well, um, I'll perhaps come back if I can't make it to Iverstead in time. Let's see if we can make Iverstead by dark. That would be perhaps better. Ah, but that's that over there. Throat of the world. Right. That's the lovely sound of an iron root that I... Oh boy. I really, really hope that this is something normal. Why don't you ask Archie? Go tell the commander. I'm sure the boot in your arse will take your mind off your trouble. Oh, that's some... Oh. Ah, some very fortunate storm cloaks. You guys, can you guys deal with this? You guys got this? Um... I'm just gonna... Hmm. Nicely done. Oh, looks like we lost a man. A man down. thoughts on all this? My cousin disappeared one night. Some say the Thalmor grabbed him. Do you guys notice that there's a... Your, your friend's dead here. It's... You don't care, do you? You're just gonna walk away. You... You Stormcloaks are, um... You appear to be dicks. Just saying. Right. See, so, you got anything good? <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do it. Dikos is a good guy. The spider, however. We'll take those arrows and we'll take that frostbite venom. Um, and I'm not gonna charge myself an hour to do so. We're just gonna gather it dripping off the fangs of the beast. That's what we that's what we're doing. We're moving on down one of the weirdest roads in Skyrim. How many of you people are along here? You just you just stay there. Yeah. Is that wolves up there? Hmm. You know, when that first wolf jumped out at me, I should have known this was going to be a weird run. I should have just known it. Alright. Let's see. Iverstead. This way. Very well. Somebody really neat. There are lots of carts there. But, oh, are you kidding me? Where are you going? Come here. No, come in right and Come. Oh, you stupid. Why do you insist on messing with me? Do you think you're clever? Oh, it's... This is just. Did I get him? I got him. All right. Yank my arrow out. And yank my arrow out. There we go. Um. Okay, we're going this way. Oh. This has been an exhausting day. <laughs> No, I have to say, that deer right there is awfully tempting. And I am close to town. Why not? And that should do it. Let's see what he has on him. Ah, dinner. Fantastic. And yes, I'm going to charge myself an hour for that one. All right. All right.
right, let's go into Iverstad. Let's see what's happening and uh, get a bed for the night. We're going to camp here, get some sleep. Yay, we made it. Obviously, Stormcloak country. Did you... Um, I wish I could tell these guys that there's a dead companion down the road there. A dead Stormcloak. Not that you guys care. All right, where are we at? Vilmir Inn. Gorgeous country. Look at this. This is great. Nice. Almost screenshot worthy. Almost. And just take a picture of that. It's gorgeous. Alright, let's go in and let's, uh, let's see what is on tap at the Vilmere Inn. Seems quiet enough. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. No, I'm here for a room. But thank you. I think you should continue with your performances. Hmm. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. Oh, serious lag. Beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. Hello. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. It's funny you should say that. I will need a room, for I am heading up to High Hrothgar. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Well, I'll tell it's you haunted. Again. If I could sweep her away from haunted. Perhaps one day, but not today. Um, interruptions abound in Skyrim. Don't you have any manners, you fop? Okay. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I see. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. Hmm. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Disappointed. Hmm. Perhaps you have heard rumors around here. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm. Well, I'm not. Francis Aretino. Hmm. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Yes, agreed. Quite foolish. I was actually wondering about rumors around. Here, around perhaps the steps in High Rathgar. Have you seen that shrine of Asura? Yeah. They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Well, I am interested in that sort of thing. Perhaps I'll take take you up on that visit sometime. Is that around here then? No. All right. So I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Okay. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Very good. Um, is there no door? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Um, a door. I would like a door, please. Ah. Uh, very well. Alright, so... Not a bad little room. People leaving money laying around. That's, that's a good sign, I guess. Let's get some thoughts. Uh, it's still early. Maybe we'll poke around town a little bit. Uh, some chicken sounds good. An apple and um, wine. Wine is good. There we go. And let's see. You pass through again. Stop by for a drink. I shall. If in a while is just a few minutes from now, I suppose. 7.04 p.m., so good enough. Let's have dinner, and uh, I'm going to have Decos crash out. I will uh, do a quick edit. Maybe we will head out in the morning. Seems to be a pretty quiet place. Which is uh, all right. After the... I saw it again. That ghost. Ghost. It's over by the barrows. That thing's evil, Linley. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. 
I was curious. I didn't Ghost. believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promised to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. Hmm. I am curious. Tell Your me room, more. Maybe a drink. You name it. Tell me more about the Barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Haunted by what? I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. Hmm. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt your town as well, then, Wilhelm? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Well, I'm renting a room near your haunted... Um, I might investigate it for you when I'm done. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Hmm. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. What's another barrow to investigate, right? Let's move a little faster here. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? I'm traveling through, friend. Traveling through. Fop. Alright, well I'm gonna... I decided Dikos would take a look at this barrow. Why not? After the after the run and day he's had. Appears normal. I see no spirits. Probably not the safest move. Climbing atop of old archaeological structures. Seems quiet enough. Another time. Yeah, Dikos is going to go get some sleep. And we will deal with whatever is in that barrow. We will deal with it when we are done with High Harothgar. Okay, it is morning. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Yes, I've... I've heard. Okay, so it's morning, and Dikos is out on the town. It's 6.31 a.m. And, uh... Not really sure which way to go from here. Is there a sign that points to High Rothgar? Uh... well... Guessing... Whatever the tallest peak is around here, right? Okay, so... I came in from this direction. Didn't I? Pretty sure I did. And... We need to figure out which way to go. Which path is it to what get up... What does it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? And such power? Uh, it seems to be quite a talking point with you people. Let's see what we've got By down here. Gods, it's true, isn't it? Oh. The dragon has attacked White Town. Yes. Near men bring down such a thing. Yes, alright, so I'm guessing our road leads us up there. Let's get to first person and take a better look. On your way up to seven thousand steps again, Clement? Ah, oh, what's this? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. Excuse me. Safe. Path. The gray beards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. I... you said... Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Yes, it's very nice. Can you tell me about High Hrothgar? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Hmm. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. Hmm. So there are Greybeards up there. Have yourself a great day. Um. 
you as well. Where's the man you were talking to just now? Am I to throw her to the wolves? You're hardly throwing her to the wolves. She just mm. wants to see the world, just like I did when I was her age. Is that him there? Excuse me, gentlemen. Leave the domestic dispute. Yikes. Excuse me, sir. Sir. 7,000 steps indeed. Next time, they need to build it closer to the ground. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. So, I was wondering, is the path... Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Matter of fact, I am. About to make a delivery up there myself. Ah, uh, what can you tell me about it? I've been to the monastery many times. Ah, uh, good. I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Ah, uh, dare to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Hmm. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. I see. What type of deliveries do you make there? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Yes, you, you said that. Care to. You, you mentioned Being that. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, I... not that they would. They seem peaceful. Oh, I guess I hit I the wrong... Oh, I did. Okay, so that's this one. I'd like to... I would like to select this one, dear Skyrim game. What type of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. There we yeah, go. Things that keep fresh for a long time. Right. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. No. What do they give you in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Hmm. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be. And climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I see. Well, what do I choose? Uh, Dikos, is he feeling friendly? Uh, do I want to... Sure, I'll do it for you, friend. I'm going that way anyway. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Yeah, thank you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, that's easy enough. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's mm. all I've ever had to deal with. Not Couldn't that that's a problem. A problem. The likes of you. Thank you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Hmm. Good to know. Thank you, Klemek. Be careful up there. I shall. Well, he was helpful. Very helpful man. It's very nice. Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one of the pilgrims on the 7,000 steps. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. Hmm. I know what you said, but I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Uh, well, it mm. stops now. That's fine. Somebody's getting in trouble. So this is the beginning of the steps. All right. Oh, look. Is that our first is our first shrine? And that would be number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, no, I'm not really going to do that. Just joking. All right, let's go up here. What's this? Fascinating. Oh, an etched tablet. Emblem one. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Hmm. And we're going to wrap up this episode right there. Next episode, we will head up the 7,000 steps, hopefully get to High Rothgar and meet some Greybeards, wherein we will, well, we'll do what Greybeards do, have tea or something. I don't know. Um, hope you've enjoyed this so far, folks. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It just helps the channel grow. And... Uh, I will see you next episode. Don't forget, even if you're not playing a game, have fun. And I will see you in episode 14. Thanks, everybody. Bye.